Take responsibility for yourself. Exercise your self-motivation and self-determination. Practice free enterprise in your holistic home office. Avoid selfish ambition, which is the dark side of human nature. Read all the stories at homeoffice.studio and watch all the videos to get an exceptionally advanced, entertaining education. Good afternoon, Earthlings. I am uh, figure I'll make another video. I, I made a video yesterday and today. It's like 40 minutes long, and I didn't really want to make a blog post that, that was that long. So uh, I put that on. I put it in, in this section about, let's look that up where I put that video. Open uh, B for browser is my shortcut for browser, and uh, I call it, I guess that's the super key or whatever that is. Super key B is browser. Here comes the browser. Look up the website. And I put that over here under desktop, office productivity. I made a really pretty, you know, it's just a kind of an overview of uh, all the different tools that you can use to, to build, con to create content in uh, KDE Linux, you know, Linux and KDE and using that and uh, you know, all, all these different tools like KDN Live, although I don't think I say, I, I mentioned KDN Live, but I don't talk about it very much. But, uh, you know, and it's not so much focused on one tool or a couple of tools, it's, it's like the whole, all of them, you know, a little bit about all of them. You know, and I'm tr trying to, eventually I'll get down to where I can make videos about the details of how to use them, you know. Right now, I'm I'm learning how to make videos, and it's as much about learning how to talk and how to present myself, you know. And I kind of I need to get into a habit and learn how to talk better and things like that. And um, as it is learning how to use KDN Live, I'm really learning that, you know, making videos. I got an introduction for the videos now and. And um, so I'm, uh, I'm just learning. It, it's fun. It's a fun little adventure I'm on here. I'm kind of hoping this pays off at some point. So far, I haven't made any money doing it, but I would kind of like to do that. That's not the main purpose. I, I like teaching. I got ideas and opinions. And I like talking and telling stories. I'm a natural born storyteller. And I like doing that, and I've been doing it my whole life. They say Bob means fame. You know, I know exactly what that means. You know, I mean, I'm not like a famous movie star kind of famous or anything like that. It's just that I like to tell stories, you know, and I do that a lot. So, but anyway, you know, and I'd like to be able to get to where I could write these stories. There's a lot of this story probably could be, I, I wish I had the time to where I could sit down and edit and polish these stories and expand them and get to where I was, instead of just telling you, you should learn about these. This is a really cool tool. You should learn about it and use it in your life, in your home office. And, um, but actually explain, teach you how to use them. You know, because that's kind of where I'm headed. I, I'm getting there. There's a lot of good information in here already. You watch these videos and, and read these stories, and I guarantee you, you'll learn things. And uh, one of the things I've been thinking about today is that, uh, you know, I'm reading. One, uh, one of the things I'm doing today is uh, I was just reading the D Digicam. I read another section. I'm up to page 102 of the Digicam handbook because I was kind of thought I would every once in a while I get this feeling I should do some pictures. You know, I have a camera and so I want to learn how to use 
the digicam software and the uh, what's the other one that uh, goes with that raw therapy learning how to edit pictures in raw therapy so those are the t i'm kind of focusing on those applications you know there's so many different applications i want to learn i want to learn them all you know uh scribus i want to learn how to use that write books i want to write lots of books i would like to have a whole bunch of books for sale on this website and, and you know and i want to write i want this website to be valuable to you you know, for you to read the stories and learn something valuable and improve your life. That's my whole goal with this website, and Holistic Home Office. I always figured I had to do the Holistic Home Office. The one I really, the website I really want to do is Holistic Human Being, which is this story about this global civilization that's kind of waking up right now. And I really would like to write stories about that, but... I figured I'd had to do the home office one first so I could figure, because this is the one I want to be profitable. I don't want to have to worry about money on the other one, on the, you know, the World Unity website. I want it to just be good news about all, what's going on in the world, because there is a lot of good news in the world today, you know, and, um, but I want this Holistic Home Office website to be the money system and make money and be kind of designed to make money. That's always been my plan. That's been my business plan for years. And now I finally have this website online. I got this video production going on and I'm, and I got a whole bunch of pictures, you know, and I'm trying to learn how to do all this at the same time. And it's, it's a little bit, uh, you know, that's part of my problem is I'm trying to do too many things at the same time because I, I also want to learn about Linux and teach you about Linux and the command line and Z shell and Vim and all that and learn how, you know, there's a couple of glaring weaknesses in the uh, KDE set of tools that I like. And that, and that is contact and calligraphy. And they both they're they both look really good and they've got a really good start. I could probably throw Falcon into this category too, because it's it's the browser, the web browser that KDE is produce produces, and um, you know and they're just they're they're like a good start and they just need a lot of the the my main complaint the just irritating complaint about. Caligra is, is if I set up, you know, it to, you know, it to print in a certain font, you know, it'll, it'll do that. I can do that and it'll do it, you know, and I can use whatever font I want to. But then if I create another document, it goes back to some obnoxious font that it's not really a bad font. It's just that that's not the one I want. You know, that's why I use Linux in the first place. So I don't have to you know, be controlled by, you know, I don't want to be controlled by Linux any more than I want to be controlled by Microsoft. You get, you know, so I just wanted to, uh, you know, and I want people to get that stabilized. I want the main, the most important one isn't so much Cali uh, uh, Caligra words, it's Caligra sheets. I want Caligra sheets to be able to compete with LibreOffice or OpenOffice or even uh, Microsoft uh, Calc, you know, the spreadsheets. I want to be able. I want that to be a really world class spreadsheet system. And I encourage any programmers that want to get in there and do that and learn that know C plus plus is KDE is written in C plus plus and QML and JavaScript, and so you get familiar with those languages, and get a copy of that. You know, download the the code, the source code for for uh, Lib for uh, Caligra Sheets, and start working on it. You know, and uh, 
improving it, making it more stable, and more free and open source and stuff like that. And the other one I would like to see worked on by, you know, and improved is contact. Because I really like contact, but it's not very stable and it's, you know, and it's just, it's not quite up to, you know, the best standards. You know, I want it to work flawlessly and I want it to be, uh, I would like it to expand to where not only do does it can you know a personal information management system on my computer, but on all my computers, and also on uh, we call that uh, on uh, my computers, my phone, my smartphone. I want there to be an app for my smartphone to be able to you know and use the same notes and everything and connected to it possibly connected to a uh, next drive is that what it is next cloud uh, you know account you know how it should set up next cloud on the on your computer you probably want to do it I say you want to do it on a remote server. I, I, I kind of say I want mine on a remote server because in case my house is destroyed for some reason, that way I still have my data. I actually like commercial. I, I like doing it on a commercial server because uh, they have those commercial servers, have, they're professionally managed, and that's a good thing. So I would probably recommend Linode because it's all based on Linux. Use Linux, set up your next cloud account in there and put all your videos and all your f f pictures and your whole database, your, your whole file system of your, of your computer in your next cloud account. And then all your computers and smartphones will be connected to that automatically. That's kind of my vision of holistic home office. And I know, and I and I also like KDE because it's easy to learn, it's easy to get started. It looks almost just like Windows, you know. And uh, it's really interesting because these new, you know, these fancy, I saw another video about how to make a K KDE, beautiful KDE. and. They're making the one that instead of using the the one that looks like Windows, they convert it to one that looks like Macintosh. You know, it's like what's the point? <laughs> you know, it's all right, man. You know, I I like this style with the bar on the bottom of the screen because it puts it n near the uh, toolbar, you know, the keyboard. So it's right there with all, all the little controls and tools are right there by the keyboard. And the sky's the limit, you know, it's open on top. You know, there's nothing holding you down on top. So that's why I like the toolbar, but I was thinking, you know, I could probably do that. I could probably have that where everything's right in the middle of the page. Everything is kind of centered. And it's got the little round thing that, whatever. Anyway, I, I really want this to, I, I, I encourage people to get involved in it. Linux is fun. It's way more fun when you get to be in control. You know, and I guess people use Windows. There's really nothing wrong with the Windows platform because you can build a lot of, you know, add value to that platform. And it, that which is just fine. Okay, I, I just, for whatever reason, you know, I read the Windows user agreement from start to finish. And when I finished, uh, my answer was no. Of course, I don't agree that Microsoft owns the software on my computer. I don't. That's not a no. I want to own my own. So I want this to be my private enterprise, not theirs. You see, and um, private ownership of the means of, of production is important. Now, what Linux is kind of not. It's not private ownership. You know, it's more. It's kind of a communistic system but there's only you know you've got to figure out some way to where all the computers can understand each other otherwise 
I mean, you could still use computers with otherwise, but it's a lot better if our computers can understand each other. And so that's why you got to have one system for everybody instead of a different system for everybody. And so it's probably a good thing the way they're doing it. And, uh, you know, uh, with the free and open source. You know, to, I don't really like either one. The, the, I don't like Microsoft's model where they own everything. And I don't like the, I didn't particularly like the GNU GPL either. I don't like that license a lot better. It's better than the Microsoft one, but it still says nobody owns it, which is whatever. I guess it's okay. It's not that bad. I, I like it. I'm having fun doing this. And so I'm kind of a grouchy optimist, I guess you could say. I always have been. And I'm getting it happier. You know, I'm getting less grouchy, I think. Um, I'm working on that. Because, you know, I'm improving myself. Keep improving yourself. All, life is a never-ending process of self-improvement. So keep doing that and you'll be doing all right. So uh, peace be with you and have a great night.